<laughs> What's the deal with the quarterbacks? In well, it is a hot topic because it's always the first question that is asked. And, not, you know, from Tyrone to, uh, to Gerard, both of them had an unbelievable spring. And the competition has been very good. And I said it uh, earlier that uh, Gerard had closed the gap. But it's good that you have competition because it makes both of them better. Can you describe or explain where things are right now compared to where they were a year ago at this time with, with the team and the program? Well, more than anything, we just know who the uh, the players are. And when you step into a, a new situation, you're kind of trying to figure everything out. And there's so much going on around you from speaking engagements to really trying to run a team and you just knowing who the team is. So now that you've been, uh, we've been in place with the coaching staff, now we have a better feel. The offense is going to be different. You guys go more of the spread. Is that is, is what I read correct? Well, what we looked at is just you know, 98 percent of the players in this state is uh, coming from that background with the spread. So we just know, know we need to uh, put a little into our package and see if we can be successful with it. Defense has got to replace some guys that made pretty big impacts on the team last year. How did that look in the spring as far as having some guys fill those gaps? Well, it's so hard to replace some of those defensive players because you're talking about Diggs, you're talking about Sid Reed, you're talking about Edmonds, you're talking about Hicks, you're talking about uh, Mikael Thompson. But you know, I look at it, you know, just had to draft a lot of those guys did get drafted, but those are big shoes that we're going to have to fill. And we have some guys in place that just more of us making sure that we continue to develop them and give them that opportunity where they'll be able to, I don't know if they can unseat that group of guys, but maybe they can come in and play as well as they do. Offensive line, more depth, more improvement. Is that going to be a, a better unit next year? You know? Well, we had to improve up front, not only with the offensive line, but also our defensive line. And the thing you like about that, old, uh, that um, offensive line is a bunch of them have played. So they, uh, they were in situations where they played in a bunch of games. So we just feel comfortable now that you have six or seven guys that we need to continue to develop. Last thing, any particular concerns you got coming out of spring practice that's going to have to get resolved before either preseason practice or the season starts? Well, uh, your concern is always leadership and you're just looking for uh, someone to go lead the football team. And, and then you have to also continue to build depth. And we, we got to just wait on this uh, new group of freshmen to come in. Just don't know how many of those are going to play, but we, we need to find some guys that we can find some really good, adequate backups.